Hello. So today I thought I would make a vlog on, I don't know, I've always really liked the different kind of popular Japanese foods that are around here. So I want to learn how to make some of those foods. So today I thought I would start with what I perceive to be the easiest. And that is, it's called shoyu ramen, which is kind of like a soy sauce flavored ramen. Now I've never made any like anything like that before. I've made instant ramen before. But I've never actually made ramen from, you know, baseline scratch ingredients. So I'm going to try to vo like vlog myself going to the grocery store and picking out the ingredients that I'm going to need um, for this recipe that I found and then <laughs> attempting to make sure you're ramen. I, I don't know how well this is going to go. I feel like it's going to be very difficult because I don't speak Japanese very well at all and I can barely read Japanese, so I feel like I'm going to have to ask people where to find certain things and I, I'm not going to really know how to do that. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see if I can A, find all the ingredients and B, you know, put it together according to, to this recipe. Um, it's, it's, shoyu ramen seems to be a lot more complicated than I initially thought, so I'm gonna try to make the somewhat simplified down version, but I don't know. So I, I have high hopes. I I feel like I can taste, you know, ramen. It's hard to mess up ramen is my initial thought, but we'll we'll see how <laughs> we're gonna see how bad uh, my my first attempt at shoyu ramen is gonna be. So yeah, why don't you come on this journey with me and, you know, down to the supermarket, we'll, we'll collect the ingredients and see if I can make this. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty confident, but you never know. We'll see. All right. All right. So it's time to start our adventure. Let's go get some ramen ingredients, shall we? So the grocery store is about a 15 minute walk, I think. Also, there's my favorite neighbor's garden. It's really nice. So we're going to see how long it takes us to get there and how much, I don't know how much I want to video of it, but we'll see. Just, looks like they just flooded the rice paddies. I bet they're going to start planting them soon. Uh, these used to be just kind of like dry heaps of dirt and grass, so I think we're going to get to see some rice up here soon, which will be nice. So. The grocery store I'm going to is in the mall where I work. I'm not currently working there now because it's Golden Week, but um, the grocery store should be open. Um, I also need to get a couple of other things like a knife and a cutting board. Um, don't have those quite yet, so I'm kind of using this video as an, ex as an excuse to uh, grab some cooking utensils. The hospital, quite the majestic looking building. And here is one of my favorite restaurants. They make katsudon, which is, your way they serve katsudon, which is this glorious looking dish here. Oh, it's one of the tastiest things you'll ever eat. I'm obsessed. Alright, coming around this side of the hospital now. Normally I would go straight ahead over there to work, but um, since I don't have to go around the back, I might cut through this park here. Um, I'll explain later why that is. Okay, so normally I would have to go around the back and go through security if I was going to work because I'd put my tag and, you know, fill out the thing that says I'm here and how long I'm going to stay for. But since I'm a customer, I can just, since I'm a customer now, I can just kind of come around the side here and go in there without going through the back. So that's why I chose to take the shorter route. Gotta make sure I've got my hands clean. Mm -hmm. Alright, first I think we gotta get some spring onions. Yeah, I think these are what we need. Mm, I kinda wanna get the three chopped ones. Oh boy, maybe I'll get those since I don't have a knife. Yeah, I need, I need sprouts. Like this. I did go with the free shop ones. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be cheap now. I'm gonna grab some mm, so I couldn't really find any of the ramen noodles I was looking for, but it looks like there might be some free ones in these packages, so I'm gonna get these. Wow. 
that is a lot of soy sauce. I have no idea where to even begin. I don't even know which one's soy sauce and which one's like other kinds. You know, give me a minute to figure this out. Okay, so I had to ask someone, but I think this is soy sauce. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, there's a lot of other sauces here, but I can't read anything, so I had to ask. But I think we're good with this one. Now that's a lot of sushi. Oh, that's So, I got pretty much everything I came for. I wasn't able to find this like fish stock powder or MSG, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to make do without that. And also the place of the mall where they, um, where the cooking utensils are was gone, was closed. So I'm gonna have to completely wing this with like plastic spoons and knives. I don't know how that's gonna work, we'll see. All right, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. May I think I have a. I think that I'm going to have to probably try again with when I have someone with me that can help me find the ingredients. And I don't know when that'll be, but we'll we'll make do. We'll see how this uh, shoyu ramen can will come together with what I have. Oh man. Okay, I just realized that I forgot like a really important part that I forgot to even put on my list. So I forgot the seaweed, the little seaweed that's on the sides of the ramen. So I'm gonna go to a, a convenience store up here and see if I can find like a little square of seaweed. So we'll, we'll see how that works. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find one. Okay, if, if it was gonna be here, it would be somewhere around. Is this what I'm looking for? Well, it is seaweed, it's not the one I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, they're a little big. Maybe I can cut them. Oh wait. No, 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 no. I can't. This... This is what I'm looking for. Alright, we'll try. I don't need that many though. Alright, well, more for later. Okay, it's almost back to my apartment. It hasn't been too long. It's been maybe an hour and 15 minutes since I left. I have most of the ingredients that I'd like. We'll see how this goes. All right, so here's our hole here. This is for show you ramen attempt number one. I guess we'll start putting it together. Oh, we got the little eggs over there soaking in their soy sauce. All right, I think it looks pretty good. I I don't know, guys. I, I feel like I, I feel like this isn't gonna turn out very well, but we'll see. All right. So, because I couldn't find any, like, soup base, or, like, MSG, or, uh, chicken base, fish base that I needed, I ended up, I did end up finding this, like, shin black soup base, which I'm gonna use instead, so, it'll be, like, the base of the soup, and then I can add the soy sauce to make it more shoyu ramen. It's, <laughs> this is really, really cheap, so maybe, maybe sometime I'll make this again, but, add a lot more authenticity to it. I, I don't know. I feel like this is cheating, but I'm gonna use it anyway and see and, and see how it goes. Okay, I've added a couple tablespoons of uh, soy sauce, or teaspoons, sorry, and some of that MSG chicken base. And, oh, it's boiling too much. Maybe move it up a little bit. My noodles in there, and I just gotta move my chopsticks over the noodles, make it look more fancy than it actually is. There we go. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna try to add some toppings. 
Okay, added some sprouts, some meat, some bamboo shoots, and of course some green onions. Let's add a little bit more. Okay. Uh, oh, one, two more ingredients. Okay, here we go, here's the final product. The finished product here. I don't know, I, considering, I think it worked out pretty well. We got our bamboo shoots, our meat, our Ashitama seasoned eggs, my personal favorite topping. A, uh, some seaweed, some meat, and the um, sprouts on top of the noodles. So, honestly, I think it's gonna be okay. Let's see. All right, here, let's try this. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's definitely not, nothing like I've had in the, the ramen joints, but it's all right, considering I spent like $20 on all the ingredients. Yeah. All right, well, we'll try this again at some point. Maybe when um, I can get someone to help me find the ingredients a little bit better. We'll see. All right, until then, take care.